some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Got a very short Sovtard video today, where we find ourselves on the highways of Oregon with a sovereign citizen who just appears to be the dimmest bulb out there and ends up getting himself arrested for his stupidity. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Just the reason for the stop today is I noticed that you don't have a valid driver's or a license put on the vehicle right now. What do you have here? That is a questionnaire with the notification that I am a lawful traveler, sir. I can uh, already hear you, sir. Is there, an, is there an emergency I can assist you with? Well, no, sir. The reason I'm, I'm well, the reason. Well, there is no emergency, but you can assist this officer in a very particular way by not being a total dumbass at this traffic stop. And yes, this is a legal traffic stop and yes he can id you at this traffic stop you might be able to understand that if your uh, head wasn't filled with so much garbage i mean you need to find a place to put your brain in there somewhere you don't have a license plate as you're required to have the i have a i have a statement that i am not for hire if you read that okay and understand um do you understand that i am not for hire Okay. Number one, I am not a commercial driver. Do you understand this? I understand. And do you understand that Oregon, just like any other state, does have a driver's license classification that does differentiate between commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses? So what is your pathetic little excuse now, Sovtard? Because that little excuse of, I am not for hire, doesn't work in the freaking courts. It never has. All right, therefore... By law, I am not required in my recreational vehicle okay. to have a license or registration. And all that information is on this stuff that you Yes, sir, it is. Well, I'll, this I'll question. definitely oblige and I'll take a look at that stuff, but do you have a driver's license or anything? No, sir, I don't have any ID with me at all. You don't? Okay. I'm not required by law to carry ID. Have you even read the frickin' uh, Oregon law? Because... What you're saying is a total load of unadulterated, freaking grade A bullshit. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. You haven't read the freaking law. You just listen to what other people say, and you take them at their word instead of doing your own bit of research like a lazy person, like a little sovtard would do. Okay. You're wearing mm -hmm. a state of Oregon if you're driving a motor vehicle on the highway or... I'm, to carry and present your driver's license? I'm well, not driving a motor vehicle, okay. sir. Well, I won't argue that point with you. I understand your point of view on those I'm kinds traveling. of things, okay? What I do is I enforce the Oregon laws, okay? So I'm, I am required to ask you for that stuff, and you're required to provide that stuff. But since you don't have that on you, would you mind uh, providing me with your uh, name and date of birth? No, sir. My name is I am. Your name is I am? Okay, well, that's going to be a problem for me. Have you even read the frickin' uh, Oregon law? Because... What you're saying is a total load of unadulterated, freaking grade A bullshit. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. You haven't read the freaking law. You just listen to what other people say, and you take them at their word instead of doing your own bit of research like a lazy person, like a little sovtard would do. I don't have a name. I don't own a name. The, okay. the government issues names for people, but... Oh, really? Yeah, I always thought it was the parents that issued the names, not the government. But then again, I mean, soft hearts come from another universe, I think, where things are all wonky and everything like that. Maybe that's where he gets that from. Uh, I was not born with a name. I do not own a name. Um, okay. So. Right. Well, do you have a name that you go by besides I I, I do not, sir. Do you have a name that you were given when you were born? Uh, um, I do, but I'm not going uh, If a question, is it true that anything I say can and will be used against me in a court of law? Well, right now, sir, the only crime that you could potentially be committing would be fail to carry and present your driver's license. Uh, and I, here's, here's, here's the deal. As long as I can ID you, I don't want to go that route if we can. So a name and date of birth work for me just so I can verify that you have a valid driver's license and privileges in the state of Oregon. The only, I don't. The problem is if you don't, 
then in the eyes of the state of Oregon, you are committing a crime. And at which point, then I will read you your Miranda rights to make sure that you are aware of what they are. I the officer's trying to give you a way out of this situation, but you're going to continue to play Fafo, and you're really going to find out. I also read you yours if you read in there. Well, there are I, subjects that you are opening yourself up to, sir. Okay, I don't well, believe you I, want to get involved. As I in. stated, I would oblige you on that. I'll take a look at this. Please do, sir. But I'd like this to kind of be a two-way street where we can work together on this. I would, When I too, contact but, somebody, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. I obviously know that your name is not I am, okay? So... Um, I, I don't, I, I'm not at liberty to give you my name, and I refuse on the, on the grounds that that tends to incriminate me. Okay. Oh, really? Your name would incriminate you? Question! How many warrants do you have out for your arrest at this particular time? Just uh, asking for a friend. Here's what I'll do then, sir, because I have explained to you that failing to carry and present a driver's license in the state of Oregon is a crime. So I'm going to read you your rights so that you understand your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before being questioned if you wish. If you do get a statement, you can stop talking anytime you wish. Do you understand those rights? No, sir, I do not I understand. Can't hear no, sir, I do not understand. Okay. I do not. So. Okay. Let me ask you I this. do not so consent. You... I do not comply. Okay. I am a free citizen traveling on the highways okay thank you it's all in there it's the laws are in there the supreme court laws and everything and it's oregon laws let's see what else have we got here uh oh god i have got things for days first off here is something you should read Wait, i can't hear sir what is... that's something you should read right off okay. of the bat what is this that you're handing me and this is it is oregon law or is it just something you downloaded off a softard website in hopes that it'll get you off the hook and a traffic stop? My bet is that overall, because I've read Oregon law when it comes to this kind of thing, and it doesn't say what you think it says. Okay. And, and I have to, to my vehicle, and and yes, sir. It's all there. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this as simple as we can. So am I, sir. Am I, am I being detained? A uh, duh. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Am I being detained? Uh, I'm sorry. Again, you're going to have to Am I over. being detained? Right now you are, sir. Then I, uh. I, I can't hear you. Then I refuse to make any further statements okay. based on the grounds okay. that it might tend to incriminate well, I'm give you. <sighs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. I don't need this, okay? If you're, let's see, is that... What I'm asking you to do is go ahead and step out of the vehicle, okay? At this point, you are under arrest for failing to carry and present a driver's license, okay? <laughs> so, listen to me very carefully. The trespassing, sir. If you do anything other than what I say, now I'm going to take that as a you're resisting arrest. Do you understand? You're trespassing, Do you understand sir. what I'm saying? No, sir, I do not. Okay, you're trespassing. at this point, you're under arrest. Do you understand? You're trespassing, Okay. Sir. Call my lawyer. Call. That's fine. I need you to take your seatbelt off and step out of the vehicle. And the video ends right there with the passenger turning off the video camera. It kind of makes you wonder, what are they hiding after this point? What did this soft heart say or do that they wanted to hide? Huh, you know, but the idiot got arrested anyway for his stupidity. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?